custom leather hats I made for my G.I. Joes. I used some string to measure my G.I. Joe's head. Then I measured the string. I used my compass and made a circle. Made a rough pattern out of thin cardboard. I cut out the pattern and taped it together. When I was happy with the way it fit, I cut the pattern apart and transferred it to leather. My pattern has three parts, crown top, brim, and a tapered crown. I used an awe and poked holes in the leather. I used wax string and a large needle to sew it together. This was my first hat that I made, so it was a learning experience. I decided to make another hat, so I made a pattern out of thin cardboard. This pattern has three parts also. The crown, this one is not tapered, crown top, and brim. I transferred it to leather and cut it out. I found some Clark Extra Strength thread and sewed it together. This was the first one I made. Take a closer look at it. I really like the texture of this leather. It really turned out neat. This crown part is tapered. I don't think it turned out as good as I hoped. So I might remake her a hat. This is the second hat I made. I used a uh, center thread. It's actually called a um, quilting thread or hand sewing thread. And I did it a different style. The crown piece right here isn't tapered. It's straight up and down. Or it's a... Uh, well, it's not tapered. As you can see in the making of it video pictures. I think that this one turned out the best. I didn't put a, uh, let me see my st stitching's kind of messy, but you know, it's all a learning process. I didn't put a chin strap on it like I did the other one. I think this will be Darren's new hat. My daughter calls them adventure hats. So I gotta see what I gotta live with. I think it looks pretty cool. After I finished that video about the last hats, I ended up making another one. This is one that's made out of a thicker leather than my last ones. Stitching is a bit different because it was a thicker leather. I think it looks pretty cool. I still like these soft ones though. I kind of like the way the thicker leather looks. It keeps it shaped more than the soft leather. Definitely looks better than that first hat I did. Although this one's not too bad. What do you think? Do you guys try to make hats? If so, I'd love to see some pictures of them. And I, uh, you know, if you're interested in uh, purchasing one of these hats from, from me, I could custom make you one. Probably more like that one. I don't care for this one. Anyways, thanks for checking out my leather hats. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Follow me on social media. Want to help support this channel? Become a Patreon member. Until next time, don't forget to collect, inspire, and create.